In the US, more than 5 million people are admitted to the ICU each year, and 20 to 40% of these patients will require mechanical ventilation in order to stay alive. During the COVID-19 pandemic, this demand for ICU beds and ventilators has increased even further, with, five, with more than 5,000 COVID-19 patients currently in ICUs across the country, most of which will end up needing mechanical ventilators in order to survive. The need for mechanical ventilators in these patients reflects that they are in a state where their body's demands for oxygen are unmet due to the failure of the respiratory and or circulatory system to meet these needs. While traditional strategies to increase the supply of oxygen to the body, such as mechanical ventilation, can be, effect can be effective, these approaches are highly invasive and require specialized equipment that is often not available or in short supply. Now I want you to imagine a new treatment strategy, where rather than increasing the supply of oxygen to the body, we could instead drastically reduce the amount of oxygen needed by the body in order to survive. This possibility has captured the imagination of science fiction filmmakers for decades, in which they have imagined scenarios in which a state of suspended animation could be induced for deep space travel, such as in the movie Alien from 1979, and more recently in the movie Passengers in 2016. This state of suspended animation is not exclusive to the world of science fiction, however, and numerous species of mammals have evolved the ability to naturally enter a state of suspended animation, where their core body temperature can drop to as low as 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and their oxygen consumption can decrease by nearly 90% without any apparent side effects. In mice, this state of suspended animation is known as torpor, and in my research, I study how the brain controls this state. To start, I wanted to understand how activity in the brain changes during torpor. To gain this information, I took a group of mice and collected their brains while they were in torpor, and I then looked for markers of activity across the brain. During this state of suspended animation, I expected that most brain regions would be inactive, which is indeed what I observed. But there was one brain region, which I identified as the preoptic area, that was lit up with activity, as you can see from the green dots in this image. The preoptic area is present in the brains of both mice, shown above, and in humans, shown below, with the preoptic area indicated by the blue ovals. Based on these results, I can conclude that the preoptic area is likely critical for the control of torpor in mice, and that it might hold the key for inducing a similar state of suspended animation in humans. My ongoing research is continuing to evaluate this exciting possibility, working towards the larger goal of using suspended animation in medical practice as an alternative to mechanical ventilation. Thank you.